Have you experienced getting opaque access tokens and thought, why is my access token not a JWT? We're answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get a JWT access token. Before we can continue, you will need to know how to make an authorized request. Here's a quick reminder of what an authorized request looks like. Now, let me explain that getting a JWT access token is dependent on the audience parameter and the authorized request. In other words, the audience parameter controls whether the access token is an opaque or JWT format on generation. Let's take a look at this documentation on getting access tokens. We can see that omitting the audience parameter causes opaque access tokens. And passing an audience parameter where the requested audience points to your management API or your custom API will generate JWT access tokens. Let's see this in an example. I'll first demonstrate the authorization code flow without the audience parameter. Here, when I try to decode the access token, I am not able to. Because it is not in a JWT format, I also get a warning that says, it looks like your JWT payload is not a valid JSON object. Now let's take a look at the login request again, while also passing the audience parameter. Here, when I decode the access token, it decodes properly with the payload, data, and signature with the correct information. To summarize, we looked at the importance of the audience parameter when requesting an access token and how we must include it to get a JWT access token. Please leave us a like or comment if you found this helpful, and join us at communityauth0.com.